trees with distinctive bark. In this video, we will learn how bark can help us identify trees. One of the nice things about working outside is we can see parts of the tree that we certainly couldn't see inside because inside we can't bring the tree inside. One of the parts of the tree that we can see quite well outside is the bark. Now, most trees, it's actually difficult to tell the bark of one tree from another, but some trees have very distinctive bark, like this cherry tree. As you use your key, look for the trees that have distinctive bark, and if the bark on your key is the same as the bark on the tree, there's a very good chance that you found the tree. You still need to look at the leaves because sometimes the bark can be similar and the leaves different, but the bark can be a very good clue that can narrow your choices. Let's look at some trees with distinctive bark. So this tree has very, very smooth bark. It's quite fun to rub your cheek against it. It's as smooth as the sand at the beach. What kind of tree is this? You're right, it's a beech tree. Let's see what other trees have bark that is easy to remember. The American hornbeam or musselwood tree has gray smooth bark also, but instead of being flat like a beech, it twists around just like your arm muscle. If you see a tree that twists like an arm muscle, it might be a musselwood, otherwise known as American hornbeam. Tulip poplar trees have deep ridges in their bark. If the tree has ridges that are deep enough so that you can put a stick right in it and the stick doesn't fall out, then the tree might be a tulip poplar. Tulip poplar trees have deep ridges. If you notice the deep ridges and leaves that might look like a kitty cat, your tree is probably a tulip poplar. The sycamore tree bark is also very distinctive. The bark is tan, gray, dark gray. But most important, the bark is peeling off. It's as if the bark were sick. So if you see a tree with the bark peeling off that looks like it's sick, it might be a sycamore. Sycamore bark looks sick. Now, just because a tree looks sick does not automatically mean it's a sycamore. You do have to look very closely to make sure you have the right tree. Here we're about to see our junior scientist Trogan sharing some information about another tree that looks sick. The dead tree has no leaves and it's missing its bark because it's dead. Dead trees lose their bark and have no leaves or buds. So, if you see a tree whose bark is peeling off and it's tan and gray, look at the bark carefully, check the leaves, then you'll know for sure whether it's a sycamore or just a sick tree. The Virginia pine also has distinctive bark. Similar to the sycamore tree, the bark is kind of flaky and it can come off. The Virginia pine bark, though, is reddish brown 
and the Virginia pine is not sick. It does not even look sick. So if you see a tree with reddish brown bark that's kind of flaky, it might be a Virginia pine. If you see in the tree or near the tree cones that look like these, shorter, fatter cones than some other trees that have cones, then it's more likely that your tree is a Virginia pine. If you see that your tree has needles, short, stiff needles in clumps of two, then your tree is very likely to be a Virginia pine. So, the Virginia pine has flaky reddish brown bark, needles in clumps of two that are stiff and thick, and short, fat cones that have the seeds. That's your Virginia pine. Another tree with distinctive bark is the box elder maple. While many trees have their distinctive bark on the widest part of the tree or the trunk, the box elder maple actually has its distinctive bark on the narrowest part of the tree or the twigs. The twigs on the box elder maple are a different color than the twigs of most trees. What color are the twigs on this tree? They're green. Most trees are brown, these are green. So if you see a tree with green twigs, it might be a box elder maple. If you look even more carefully and see it has compound blades, then it's very likely that it's a box elder maple. You've now seen five trees with distinctive bark. While the leaves are usually easier, the distinctive bark can get you in the right direction. The beech tree has smooth bark like sand at the beach. The musclewood twists like an arm muscle. The tulip poplar has deep ridges. The sycamore tree looks sick. The Virginia pine has flaky reddish brown the bark. Pine has red and the box elder maple has green twigs. And finally, remember one last time some trees can have similar bark but very different leaves. Use your tree key to make sure.